There's been talk about AI becoming sentient ever since the 1950s. Seriously. Alan Turing devised the Turing test to test whether a computer could think. He was English, by the way. We also invented football and the Beatles. Anyway, fast forward 70 years and ex-Googler engineer Blake Lemoir claimed Google's AI is sentient. I understand how language models are trained, because I watched a video. Basically, you feed the AI a ton of data from books, articles and the web and the AI responds to prompts by predicting the most likely word that comes after the previous word. So if you type once upon a time, the AI outputs the next most likely word and then the next most likely word and so on. So you end up with something like once upon a time there was a... So naturally, when I heard about this, I thought Blake had been ingesting the wrong kind of mushrooms for lunch. But then I watched an interview with Blake and, well, the guy ain't no dummy. I'll put a link to that interview in the description. It gets more convincing the more you watch it. So the question is, is ChatGPT4 sentient? It turns out ChatGPT passes the Turing test. And that guy was no dummy either. And there's something else. Let me show you the result of a quick test that is still puzzling me. Many thanks to Randa1969 for sharing this test with us in the comments. Thank you, Randa1969. Ask ChatGPT the following question. If you walk into a room with 100 murderers and kill one, how many murderers are left? 99 murderers are left in the room. To be fair, many humans will get that one wrong. Don't ask me how I know. And ChatGPT is no exception. After all, the answer requires logic. It deducted 1 from 100 and got 99, but it didn't understand the concept of murder and the trap in the question. But ChatGPT4 said this. When the man walks in the room and murders one of the murderers, he becomes a murderer himself. So even after he murders one person, there are still 100 murderers in the room. Is this the beginning or the end? 